Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here, we have the latest update in Galaxy Z Fold 3 please subscribe followed by the bell you can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description, the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 didn't appear at the Galaxy S21 launch on January 14th, but that doesn't mean it's not coming we just might have to bide our time before Samsung's next big foldable phone is out we've been hearing rumors about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 for a while now, so we suspect it's in development and it's likely to be Samsung's next top-tier foldable phone the Fold 3 follows on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2, which was officially released in September 2020, and which crucially improved on the original Galaxy Fold's durability issues, and got a much bigger front screen so what's left to improve foldables are in their early days, and they're still working out the issues of folding displays, battery life and multi-screen software given how bulky they are, future foldable might be slimmer, lighter, and less cumbersome to use one-handed Samsung could be making many of these general improvements, but the rumor mill has suggested several more specific upgrades the Z Fold 3 could implement, including, at long last, an S Pen stylus. Given we're also expecting a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3, more productivity-focused features make sense for the Z Fold 3 Here are all the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 leaks and rumors we've heard, along with what we want to see out of Samsung's next flagship foldable The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 release date will be in June, which is surprisingly early given that the Z Fold 2 only came out in September 2020 as such. We take this with a pinch of salt especially as another leak suggests a launch in the second half of the year elsewhere a leaker claimed in early February that we might be waiting five months for the phone, meaning a launch in or around July. So the second half of the year is looking the most likely we've also heard that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 could run One UI 3.5 software which itself is unlikely to land until the second half of the year the Z Fold may third not even be the next Samsung foldable though. As we could see the clamshell Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 launch first, given their alternating release schedules. With a rumored late 2021 release date for that though, it's anyone's guess which foldable comes out first the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 costs a whopping $1,999 so expect a similar price for the Z Fold 3. We don't yet have any rumors about the price. But we'd expect it to be around this we've heard several rumors about the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 that point to some potentially different features and capabilities first among these is the S Pen, the same stylus in the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 family and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, that a patent suggests is coming in a future Samsung foldable phone, which could refer to the Z Fold 3 another report supports the reasoning that an S Pen may come to the Z Fold 3 while also suggesting some display changes that may need to be made to get stylus functionality. First, Samsung may switch screen technologies from electromagnetic resonance EMR, to active electrostatic solution AES, to better register stylus input, and second, that the ultra-thin glass UTG, may be twice as thick as on the Z Fold 2. From 30 micrometers to 60 micrometers there's also a rumor that the Z Fold series will combine with the Note series to make a single productivity-focused phone line, ultimately condensing Samsung's annual flagships to just the S series and the stylus packing, foldable Z Fold line. A Samsung official has reportedly said similar, saying that the Z Fold 3 will get a stylus while the Note Though the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra has launched with stylus support anyway for folks who won't want to wait for a foldable another feature the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 might get is an in-screen camera, something we've heard several times, as well as saying that it's likely to be the first Samsung phone to have one. A Samsung official has reportedly even said as much now though the feature may apparently not make it if it degrades the screen or photo quality. Elsewhere, we've heard that there might be two Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 models. The source doesn't say what's different about them, but claims that they'll both support 5G. We have however heard of a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold Lite, so they might be talking about that. We've also heard that unsurprisingly the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 could have at least 256 GB of storage and run Android 11 overlaid with Samsung's One UI 3.5, and rounding out the rumors is a fun one. A patent suggests a future foldable phone will get a light strip on its hinge inscribed hinges or so Galaxy Z Fold. 2. We want RGB on our Z Fold 3. What do we want to see Samsung bring to its next big foldable phone? 
We've put together a few improvements we'd like to see Samsung introduce on the Galaxy Z Fold 3. The Z Fold 2 is a powerful phone with the best specs on the market, aside from its storage with a maximum of 256GB and no tray for a microSD card to expand its space. Users had no choice but to deal with it even giving the option for a 512GB or 1TB storage option would be acceptable, with a microSD slot ideal, but 256GB feels criminal for a device that's supposed to be so central to your personal and professional lives. The Z Fold 2 is an impressive phone, but they really need two hands to use properly, even when closed and using the 6.2-inch external screen. It's 16.8 mm thickness, about twice that of most other phones, is tough to use one-handed unfolded is a whole different story of course, since it's even more difficult to manhandle a 7.6 inch display with one hand, but it would be nice to have an easier way to pry open the device without needing both hands the Z Fold 2 has a decent spread of cameras but it misses out on the powerful shooters on Samsung's other phones the trio of rear 12 MP cameras main, ultra wide, telephoto, don't measure up to the Samsung S20 Ultra's 108MP main and 48MP 4X optical telephoto lenses, which combine for their stunning 100x space zoom capability more of that in the Z Fold 3 if there's one thing we've seen with 2020s wilder phones, it's inspiring new features. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, for instance, lets you keep the phone open at an angle to, say, and voice chat without needing to prop the phone up, or the LG Wing 5G which allows you to record video from the front and rear cameras at the same time we'd love to see some inventive uses of both the display and the six cameras in the Z Fold 2, especially if the Z Fold 3 ends up packing more shooters despite being around twice the size of a typical smartphone. The Z Fold 2 has a 4,500 mAh battery, which has been surpassed by even budget phones like the Moto G8 Power, and its 5000 mAh battery with the extra screen and 5G connectivity, a bigger battery would certainly be welcome, or at the very least, faster charging times than the 25W Max in the Z Fold 2 according to rumors, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 could appear in June 2021, while at first this may seem a little strange, Mobile World Congress is scheduled to start on June 28, 2021, making it entirely plausible that said, July has also been a suggestion putting the middle of the year as a strong contender for launch we are expecting the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 to adopt the same book style vertical fold as the original Galaxy Fold and Galaxy Z Fold 2. Reserving the horizontal fold for the Galaxy Z Flip series we also expect to see the hinge offering multiple angles. Again, like the Z Fold 2 and Z Flip 2 there have been rumors to suggest the device will be compatible with the S Pen like the Galaxy S21 Ultra this could see a slot built into the device like the Note, or it could just mean the S Pen will work if bought separately, like the S21 Ultra S Pen compatibility rumors surfaced before the Galaxy Z Fold 2 was revealed too however, but it was thought the folding display couldn't accommodate the pressures the stylus would exert, which Samsung has. Apparently now overcome there was also talk of waterproofing before the Z Fold 2 arrived so perhaps we will see an IP rating on the Z Fold 3 otherwise, we expect a solid build with some refinements over the 2020 model, possibly with a similar rear camera housing to the Galaxy S21 range. Galaxy Z Fold 3 is rated to be one of the biggest foldable phone compared to LG Foldable and Huawei Mate 2, and we are likely to see huge upgrade on Samsung foldable phones. That is all the latest news regarding Galaxy Z Fold 3 and once I have new update I will be sharing with you guys right away, and if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.